I'm Captain Samson Manan. I'm Aston Harbour Master of Chittagong Port. Uh, besides that, I am a, a class one Marine Harbour pilot also, uh, with 16 years experience. Uh, before joining Chittagong Port, I was working in Bangladesh Marine Academy as a nautical instructor for one and a half year. I had a seafaring career of like nine years with various rank and capacities, uh, including uh, management level officers. I achieved my master marina certificate from Bangladesh uh, Department of Shipping and uh, class one marine pilot competency from Chirong Port Authority. Alongside my professional degrees and career, I, I have pursued an MBA from International Islamic University Chirong and an MSc from World Maritime University Sweden. After, after doing that MSc, I started doing research on maritime issues. So far, I have published two uh, scholarly articles in the two uh, top class journal about maritime issues, in, including impacts of COVID-19. Besides that, I, I am an honorary fellow of uh, Sasakao Peace Foundation, and I am a I am an associate fellow, proud associate fellow of Martin Institute. <laughs> Spain as shipping carries 90% of uh, world trade 51,400 ships are plying in the oceans and they are carrying the people's cargo, the people's good. No matter what it is, it can be food, it can be medicine, it can be any commodities, necessary commodities, all are being carried by ships. And you know, these are the seafarers are the key worker uh, who are doing this thing. So that's why the maritime and shipping matters. You know, Bangladesh, uh, it is located in the, in the Southeast Asia and a lot of developing works are going on in Bangladesh. And Chirong Port is the, the principal seaport of Bangladesh and it carries almost like 90% of the cargo uh, of the Bangladesh. During this pandemic, Chirong Port has experienced, uh, it experienced like 47% decline of container trade and 28% decline in the bar trade and which impacted the country's whole economy as well. As banks and customs, everything was closed. The port was congested. The turnaround time and waiting time also also increased. That's why I started doing uh, research about the impacts of COVID-19 of Chirong Port. Uh, for that, I, I conducted 17 interviews within the maritime sector. I found some amazing results of those interviews, and I published that article in the Journal of the International Journal of the World Maritime University. As I am a pilot uh, during the COVID-19. Uh, uh, we have to take extra precaution. Almost 50% of the pilots was affected by COVID-19 and including my harbor master, we become more scared and it, it made the job more difficult for us. Uh, so yeah, it, it, it impacted tremendously. Uh, the first thing is that the, as the CFRR are the key worker, these people should be vaccinated with a priority basis. My second recommendation is that a lot of, lot of port is denying seafarer to getting sign on and sign off. I had experienced some crews who was on board like 18 months during COVID time. And he, during these 18 months, his father was dead. His, his son was dead, but he couldn't go even to his home. The, the international community or the IMO, ILO, they must come forward to solve this issue to ensure a smooth sign on sign off of the CPR. And the, my third recommendation is the port workers, port workers, they should be vaccinated with a priority basis. And I think ILO, ILO and IMO have some job uh, to do on that. And my another recommendation is nowadays, you see with the, with the international trade as internet trade is increasing, the, the onboard working environment is getting worse and uh, the, the onboard workload is getting worse. I think I think IMO should revisit the, the safe manning issues, safe manning principle of uh, of the CPR. That is my recommendation. Okay. Uh, my last words is I would like to appreciate uh, this uh, the, the initiative of uh, President of Nautilus Institute. Uh, the the international community should come up with the with the full support to recognize the maritime time contribution. They should facilitate maritime sector in all manners to make a better world.